Hi guys and welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. <laughs> it's morning now. <laughs> if you watched the last video, it was late last night. But it's morning now. I've just been for a lovely walk. First of all, I woke up this morning, um, said a, um, a few prayers, if you believe in the word prayers, or some nice thoughts to people that I love um, and care for very much. And from there, I made myself... Um, actually, I've got lemon trees here. Do you want to have a look? So, just down there... Uh, lemon trees. Now one, two, three. Am I blessed with lemon trees? So what I do is I go down and pick a lemon uh, fresh, pull it straight off and then come and cut it, squeeze it and um, add water to it and drink it. That's the first thing I do. I recommend that to everybody um, who wants to clear their body of illness. Um, alkaline in your body is the most powerful thing you can do. So that's what I do to start with in the morning. Um, obviously a lot of you don't live by trees so it's hard for you to uh, grasp that the life force of any living uh, entity, any living fruit or vegetable, the best time to eat it is within the 30 minutes because you're eating the life force from it. So after that you still retain um, the, the, the nutrients and all the goodness from it. but when you pick it from the tree you eat the light it's really hard to explain but if you remember chomping is it chomping when we were kids uh, apple picking or whatever we used to you know sneak into people's uh, orchards and gardens as kids and uh, just run up a tree and then start to eat it and oh my god the energy that we felt the happiness and the joy from eating that apple on the tree was you can't explain it you go to a shop and buy an apple and you don't have that same feeling. And I think we were actually born to pick and eat fruit and vegetables in that moment. And I think we've lost that, that's gone. Um, we want things quick and easy now. We want, you know, we want instant meals. We want to shove it in a microwave and eat it and that I've done with it. We've lost the, the true balance of nature, of our um, spirituality, of our understanding of our connection to mother nature but hey ho that's life but the little things that you can do to make up for that like i do in the morning and go and pick a, a lemon is great it's really is great so that's my start to the morning uh, from there i went for a walk and uh, went to the park and sat down and meditated a little bit for myself so I wasn't sending energy to anybody. I was just basically saying thank you. You know, thank you is a beautiful word. It's a bit like saying gratitude. All these words that we use, they're only words. And actually that's great. We're coming on to a, a subject now, which is really uh, quite profound. And it's regarding words and we get stuck in words. We fight over words. We battle over words. We get upset and stay in a certain place because of words. And I think sometimes words are very powerful and very brilliant if we know how to use them, but they're also very damaging and they can keep us trapped in a box. So what's today's subject? What are we gonna to tackle today? Well, I'm pretty cool at this subject. The reason why is because I've had it a few times in my life and uh, your, own, your own personal experiences is always the worst, if you know what I mean. You know, you've always felt more than anybody else because it's your experience. So we're gonna talk about heartbreak today. But no, we're not, we're gonna break it down. We're gonna dispel the energy of heartbreak because I think that's where I want to go with this today. If you're suffering today in your mind and in your heart and in your whole energy that you believe you are heartbroken because of one thing or another, I want to dispel that straight away, okay? And let me try and dispel that for you instantly. The first thing I want to say to you is, what is heartbreak? Now you're gonna define that by, he did this to me, or she did this to me. That's how you're gonna define heartbreak. Somebody has done something to you that has caused your belief in here that your heart is broken, okay? That your heart is finished, okay? I say that's bullshit, right? Now I can say that now because I went through it, but at the time I couldn't say that. But the reason why I can say it now is because I've got through that and I know why I got through it and how I got through it. So I asked myself, was it that there was a moment that I realized that this isn't heartbreak? 
or did it happen um, in time? Did it slowly happen through the days, weeks, months? Well, I think it was a mixture of both, but through my clients and over the number of years I've been working with people who have come to me who thought they had heartbreak, I have come to see the bigger picture. So, what is heartbreak? Okay, let's break it down. If you now are suffering and you're feeling pain, you're in my heart, I mean that, you're in my heart. First of all, I think we all go through one of um, many challenges of life and one of them is self-worth. To learn to be stronger than any given soul in this world. Now that sounds selfish, right? Why, why would you have to be stronger than anybody else in this wor world? Well, because you have to. You have to have self-worth at some point in your life. You have to believe in yourself more than anybody else in this world. Because if you spend your life looking up to one person, you never ever become the power, the amazingness that you are. So you've basically given your life away to a guru, to a teacher, to a famous star, to a famous singer, or to a partner that you believed was your true love or the one that was the only one you see so basically I'm kind of slapping you, you across the face like I slapped me across the face when I went through the heartbreak and said wake up Mark because you are the most important thing in this world you are there is nobody more important than you in this world and the only way you'll ever get over the not heartbreak but let me tell you it is the fear because you're not suffering with heartbreak right now I promise you that if you if you say oh bull mark I am he did this she did this I'm saying stop they didn't do anything nobody can hurt you the only person who can hurt you is you so I hurt myself for years I nearly killed myself me, I did that. Not the person I was with. I did it. So I needed to take back my power. You see, you have to take back your power. And the only way you can do that today, the only way is to start to say that I am more important than him or her, than the issue that I'm going through. And you bloody well are. Once you grasp that, that's your first step towards healing this pain that you're going through. So now we've got that over with, let's talk about heartbreak. Take the word heartbreak and change it into the word fear, because that's what it is. The fear of your future. The fear of, am I gonna be loved again? The fear of, will I ever have somebody who loves me that way ever again? Will I be able to love anybody the way I love that person? Fear, 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 thought, fear, fear, fear. Let me tell you something. There is a reason and a bigger picture why you are no longer with the person that you are. And it is nothing to do with hurting you. It isn't karma. It isn't bad luck. It isn't that there's anything wrong with you. It's just that it was your moment to spread your wings and fly and fly till the moment you land and all of a sudden without even thinking without even looking somebody flies next to you and you go Ooh. and there you go it happens a new world a new life a new thought a new feeling a new energy a new soul a new you a new world Wow, could that possibly ever happen to me? Well, it happens to every single person for the past 15 years I have read for and healed. And I am telling you, and I swear this with my hand on my heart, each time you fall and feel fear and you get back up and you believe in yourself and know that you'll be loved even more, that I can tell you that every single soul that I have read for or healed has ended up with somebody more beautiful than ever before. And I asked them, do you remember the time when you suffered for two years? 
Yes, Mark, I remember. Oh my God, that was awful. Now then, if you know what you know now, and the person that you're with now, would you have suffered them two years? No, Mark, I would have smiled and said thank you because I know now. What I know now is that it was all meant to be. And thus, the whole point of heartbreak is not heartbreak. It is a lesson for you to find your inner power and believe in you and know that you are more loved and that you will be more loved than anybody in this world by one person who will one day love you and see you in a different way than your last love that you will go, oh my God, I never believed I could be loved or understood like I am now. And I am living proof of that today. So let me change the word heartbreak to fear. Fear is a bum of an energy. It is an energy that you need to get rid of out of your mind and start to work on yourself and believe on yourself. Get yourself back up there. The person that you think hurt you didn't hurt you. They've done you a favor because I promise you one day you will look back and smile and say thank you for what you did like I have twice. Thank you both. I love you both for what you did in my life and how wonderful you helped me along my journey and we helped each other. And thank you for what happened because now I have never been as happy. And so it continues. But never hold on to the thought that whoever you're with, that that's it forever. You, you cherish each moment when you find your new love. And you respect each other's path and journey. And you love each other as much as you can without holding on to the mine you are mine, I am yours and nobody else. That is all negative. You spend each day together in joy, what's about to happen day after day. And you allow the universe, you allow yourself to believe in whatever happens, that day is a beautiful day. And if tomorrow's a beautiful day, I'm gonna enjoy that beautiful day. And thus we don't put pressure on ourselves or on our partner for your future. So listen, I'm giving you a lesson for your next uh, relationship. And thus you don't hurt yourself. Well, maybe you will if you go through another relationship. So what? So what? It's another time to heal and strengthen whatever it is. We all go through pain and suffering of the fear of the what ifs. The fear of the loss and losing something that we so believed was ours. You see how dangerous that is? <laughs> I mean, I can imagine, I mean, somebody up there around laughing, thinking that we own anything. We don't own anything. We don't own somebody else's love. We don't own a partner. We don't own a business. We, don't, we only borrow it for the time we're here. We only share those moments for the time we're here in the moment. Anything could happen to any anybody at any given moment. So we need to cherish those moments instead of investing in what we think we're gonna have for the rest of our life. That's my personal feeling. So it's not that I'm not investing in a future and it's just that I'm not focused on something that I think I need and I must have for the rest of my life because you miss everything if you do that. You miss your moment. So guys, or you, if you're watching, you're the most single, most beautiful person in this world, right? And what you hold inside you, who you are, your little quirkiness, your, your, the things that you think you don't like and, and somebody that nobody will ever love you because they don't know my my quirkiness and what I mean. You know, I think I've got faults, not you. Let me tell you something. All those silly things that your mind is saying to you, I'm telling you this. You will one day be loved by somebody who will love every single quirky thing in your life. I'm telling you. You know something? I believe that these hands were the funniest, ugliest hands in the world. I've met somebody now who when, look, when she looks at these hands, she melts. 
and at first I, I, I was so taken back I, I couldn't understand because I said they're not nice hands because I was told by somebody they weren't nice hands. I believed somebody and yet I've met somebody who holds these hands and said they're the most beautiful hands in the world. Let me tell you something. Don't believe your mind. Don't believe what your father or mother might have said negative to you or a past lover. What you are is perfect for the right person who's going to walk into your life and love every bit of you. Because when you truly find true love and true love finds you, a mole is a beauty spot. What you may think is not beautiful will be beautiful and you are beautiful. And it does not matter what you think your faults are. They're not faults. They're your quirkiness. They make you who you are. And a beautiful partner that will come into your life will shine that light and help you see who you are and believe in yourself. Be happy today knowing that if you're listening to this message, it's because you're one step closer to finding the love within yourself, to believing in yourself, because that is the ultimate and most important thing in your life. You cannot love anybody unless you love yourself. So I'm here to tell you, you are beautiful in every way. Every single way, you are beautiful. Start believing in yourself like I have started to believe in myself. It isn't selfish to look at yourself and love yourself because once you start on that journey of loving yourself, of taking the time and effort to believing in who you are and how powerful and amazing you are and how worthy you are of every word that comes out of your mouth, out of every cuddle you give to other people, out of every thought that you share with other people, when you realize how important you are with everything that you do, you start to value yourself. And once you start to value yourself, then others will value you and see you for who you truly are. But if you wallow in a cesspit of fear because of what somebody else may have said that you're not good enough, or you're not this, or your hands aren't pretty, or whatever it may silly, quirky things be, you will live in that. So today, get out of that, let it go, Start a new day today. Make today the first day of the rest of your life. Look at yourself in the mirror like I do and say, I am beautiful and I am worth loving and you are worth loving. Because whoever spends the rest of their life with you is the luckiest person in the world because you are loving, kind and caring. And there's nobody like you. And that's where I'm going to leave it today. Thank you for subscribing to my Bayeski YouTube channel. I hope I've dispelled the word heartbreak. It's just a silly word that keeps us trapped in a box. You are not heartbroken. You are stronger and more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Get ready for new love that begins within yourself. Get ready for a new life. Have a great day, guys, from my heart to yours. Take care. See you soon.